Did you know that a persistent cough, such as whooping cough, might be a symptom of a deeper health concern? Could it be a sign of a weakened immune system or even something more serious like HIV? In this video, we'll unravel the connection between whooping cough and HIV, explore how the immune system works, and share vital tips to stay protected. Stick around until the end for a bonus tip on strengthening your immune system naturally. Let's dive in. Understanding whooping cough. Let's start with the basics. Whooping cough, also known as pertussis, is a highly contagious bacterial infection caused by the Bordetella pertussis bacterium. It's called whooping cough because of the characteristic whoop sound that follows coughing fits. These fits can be so severe that they disrupt breathing and leave the patient gasping for air. Key facts about whooping cough. Whooping cough spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person sneezes, coughs, or talks. It's more common in children but can affect people of all ages, especially those with weakened immune systems. Symptoms can last for weeks or even months without proper treatment. The good news is that whooping cough is preventable with vaccines and treatable with antibiotics if caught early. However, in individuals with a weakened immune system, such as those living with HIV, it can become more complicated. How the immune system works. Our immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to defend our bodies against infections. Think of it as your body's personal army. When you're exposed to bacteria, viruses, or other pathogens, your immune system springs into action to fight them off. Key components of the immune system include white blood cells, WBCs, the frontline soldiers that attack invaders, lymphatic system, a network of vessels that transport infection-fighting cells throughout the body, antibodies, proteins that recognize and neutralize specific pathogens. When functioning properly, your immune system can usually handle common infections like colds or even whooping cough. But when the immune system is compromised, such as in individuals with HIV, this defense mechanism becomes less effective. How HIV affects the immune system. HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, directly targets the immune system. It primarily attacks CD4 cells, also known as T helper cells, which are crucial for coordinating the immune response. Over time, as HIV destroys these cells, the immune system becomes weaker and less capable of fighting infections. Why is this important? Without enough CD4 cells, the body struggles to combat everyday infections. Opportunistic infections, illnesses that take advantage of a weakened immune system, become more common. Respiratory infections, including whooping cough, can become more severe or recurrent in people with HIV. Additional details on immune decline studies show that individuals with untreated HIV are significantly more likely to develop complications from respiratory illnesses. For example, even a common cold can lead to more severe issues, such as pneumonia, in someone with advanced HIV. That's why regular health monitoring is critical for people living with HIV. The link between whooping cough and HIV. So, how does whooping cough relate to HIV? While whooping cough itself is not a direct symptom of HIV, it can serve as a red flag for a weakened immune system. For example, if someone is experiencing recurrent or unusually severe respiratory infections, it could indicate underlying immune dysfunction. Signs to watch for. Frequent respiratory infections that take longer to heal. Persistent coughs that don't respond well to treatment. Severe or prolonged symptoms of whooping cough, particularly in adults. If you or someone you know is dealing with these issues, it's important to consider whether HIV testing might be appropriate. If you or someone you know is dealing with these issues, it's important to consider whether HIV testing might be appropriate. Early detection is key to managing HIV effectively and preventing complications. Increased susceptibility. Individuals with HIV may have a weakened immune system, making them more susceptible to respiratory infections, including whooping cough. Studies have shown that the incidence of Bordetella pertussis infection can be higher in HIV-positive populations compared to those who are HIV-negative. Respiratory Symptoms in HIV A dry cough is a common symptom associated with HIV, particularly during the early stages of infection or as the disease progresses to AIDS. This cough may persist for weeks or months and can be mistaken for other conditions, such as whooping cough. However, it is crucial to differentiate between these conditions through medical evaluation. Opportunistic infections. 
In advanced stages of HIV, AIDS, individuals are at risk for various opportunistic infections that can affect the lungs and cause similar respiratory symptoms. These include pneumonia and other bacterial infections that may present with cough and shortness of breath. Early detection is key to managing HIV effectively and preventing complications. HIV testing options. Let's talk about HIV testing. There are several types of tests available, each with its own benefits. HIV antibody tests. Detect antibodies your body produces in response to the virus. HIV antigen antibody tests. Detect both antigens, viral proteins, and antibodies. HIV RNA tests. These are the most sensitive tests and can detect the virus as early as 9, 11 days after exposure. If you suspect exposure to HIV or have persistent health concerns like whooping cough, getting tested is the first step toward peace of mind. Early detection allows for early treatment, which can significantly improve outcomes. Preventing whooping cough and HIV. Prevention is always better than cure. Here are some practical tips to protect yourself from both whooping cough and HIV. For whooping cough, get vaccinated, DTaP for children, and Tdap booster for adults. Practice good hygiene, such as washing hands regularly and covering your mouth when coughing. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. For HIV, use protection during sexual activity. Avoid sharing needles or syringes. Consider pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP, if you're at high risk. Get regular HIV testing, especially if you're sexually active or have other risk factors. Lifestyle factors. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle can also reduce your risk. Eating a balanced diet, exercising regularly, and avoiding smoking or excessive alcohol can help your body stay resilient against infections. Real life stories and statistics. Let's look at some real life context. According to the CDC, whooping cough cases have seen periodic spikes especially in communities with low vaccination rates. Meanwhile, there are over 1.2 million people living with HIV in the United States, and about 13% are unaware of their status. These statistics underscore the importance of awareness and prevention. Whether it's a respiratory infection like whooping cough or a virus like HIV, staying informed is your best defense. These statistics underscore the importance of awareness and prevention. Whether it's a respiratory infection like whooping cough or a virus like HIV, Staying informed is your best defense. A global perspective. Globally, the impact of HIV is even more pronounced with millions of new cases reported annually. Coupled with preventable illnesses like whooping cough, the need for healthcare access and education becomes clear. Bonus tip. As promised, here's your bonus tip. Strengthen your immune system by adopting these habits. Eat a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Exercise regularly to boost overall health. Get enough sleep to allow your body to recover and repair. Manage stress through activities like yoga, meditation, or journaling. Stay up to date on all vaccinations, including those for whooping cough and the flu. These small changes can make a big difference in your ability to fight infections and maintain overall health. If you want quick, affordable, and confidential HIV testing across the United States, visit HIVRNATest.com. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to HIV RNA Test Guide YouTube channel for more health tips and updates. Disclaimer. This video is for informational purposes only and not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult a healthcare provider for concerns about your health. Thank you for watching and stay healthy.